Hello darlings, I've got another AMP video for you. I was just heating up some wax because I need to wax my tash and I thought while the wax is heating up, why not do a quick video on the lymphatic system. The information in this video is purely from a beauty therapist's background. We don't need to learn the lymphatic system in depth, but we just know the basics. So let's get started, shall we? What is the lymphatic system? What is it? The lymphatic system is known as a secondary circulatory system because it is closely connected to the bloodstream. There is a lot of pressure going on in the bloodstream, the heart's pumping it, there's a lot of pressure going through the veins and then to the capillaries and because of that every day 20 litres of fluid seeps out of our capillaries. 17 litres of it gets reabsorbed and that leaves 3 litres of fluid just around the tissues and that is where the lymphatic system comes in handy because it takes these the 3 litres of fluid that's in the tissues and it gets it back into the bloodstream. First it goes through the lymphatic vessels, then the lymphatic nodes, then the lymph lymphatic ducts and then it goes back to the bloodstream. The lymphatic system doesn't have anything to pump it around the body like how the heart pumps the blood around the body. So the way lymph moves around the body is through muscle contractions. So that is why it's really important, even if you don't exercise, it's good to go for a walk and just to move around just so that you can move the lymph around the body. Some people also get massages done because when we do massage, we usually do it towards the heart or towards the lymph nodes. Also, lymph only moves in one direction. It's a one-way street. So now that you know what the lymphatic system is in general, we can get more into detail about what lymph actually is and what it's made from. So as I said in the beginning of the video, 20 litres of blood is seeped out of our capillaries. 17 litres of it gets reabsorbed, three litres left. Now, this fluid, how can I say it? Our, our capillaries are very thin and red blood cells are quite big so the fluid that seeps out it doesn't it's basically plasma um, with no red blood cells which is why lymph isn't red it's like a milky is a pale milky color in terms of what lymph has inside it's got nutrients food oxygen water white blood cells and waste so this fluid gets absorbed into the lymphatic system through the lymphatic vessels. The lymph capillaries form a network to larger lymph vessels. It's similar to veins in structure. This question I remember came up in my exam. It was like two, three years ago and I still remember. The lymphatic vessels have thin, weak muscular walls and valves to prevent backflow. So as I said, lymph moves only in one direction. That might come up in your exam as well because that's really important and the things that stop it from coming back are things, these things called valves. So once the lymph is in the lymphatic vessels, then it goes to the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are swellings along the lymph vessels where lymph is cleansed and filtered. Microorganisms and other materials are destroyed. So our lymph, we have certain lymph nodes in, on, in certain areas of the body, like we have them over here, we have them behind our ears here, which is why when we get something like an infection, like an ear infection, these bits normally swell up. The nodes are found in groups, so it is forced to pass through several nodes to be cleansed before it goes back to the bloodstream. Our body is just amazing. The way, like, it's like the lymph nodes are working as a team. Imagine your family all doing the dishes. One person rinses them. The next person um, uses the sponge and fairy liquid and then you rinse it and then go over it with the soap again and then give it another rinse and then you pop it to the side. You know those people who wash their dishes before they put it in the dishwasher? <laughs> Me and my friends had a debate about this a few weeks ago. I personally just give it a rinse and then I put it in the dishwasher just to get rid of most of like the sauce on the plate or like any crumbs and stuff. But then some of the girls were like, no, you have to wash it with soap and then put it in the dishwasher because they smell. I understand that it can smell depending on what you've had to eat for dinner, but um, I normally use lemon. I normally keep that half of the lemon or both halves of the lemon and I put it in the dishwasher and it smells really nice. Or you can just buy one of those things that are made to hang in your dishwasher to make it smell nice. I personally prefer lemon because 
I mean, you've used the lemon for food, you might as well not throw it away and put it in your dishwasher and it smells really nice. I just went so off topic there. So back to the lymph nodes. I personally didn't revise the names of the different lymph nodes. If you're like me, when I was a student, my brain was about to explode from all of the information I have to remember. So I sort of left out some of the stuff that I felt like it wasn't necessary for me to remember absolutely everything. I honestly don't remember any of these lymph nodes. I think the best thing to do is to draw this diagram over and over and over again and that's the only way you're going to remember it. I don't know how your exam's going to be because um, with our exams you need 60% to pass so even if you get a few questions wrong as long as you've got 60% you will pass your exam. Why is my armpit so itchy? So after the lymph is cleansed through the lymph nodes, it travels to the chest area and it goes through the lymph ducts. Now your right, I don't know if this is gonna be your right, this is, I'm just gonna do my right side. So your right head, chest and arm, this section here, this drains to the right lymphatic duct and everything from the rest of your body, it drains through the thoracic duct. And then it goes back to the subclavian vein and it goes back into the bloodstream. The end. So it's like after you do your dishes, you dry them and you put them back in the cupboard. Now the reason lymphatic system is important is because it fights infection, it returns nutrients and blood proteins back to the circulatory system, it transports white blood cells, it transports fats from small intestine to liver, it prevents oedema by draining excess tissue fluid, produces lymphocytes, which is basically a form of white blood cells. There is information here which I watched on through YouTube videos. I simply typed in the lymphatic system and these really nice cute little videos explaining it with like cartoon images and stuff. It explains the lymphatic system so well and even though some of the information they give it's not something that you need to learn as a beauty therapist I would still recommend that you learn it because it makes you understand the lymphatic system or any part of the AMP revision a lot better. So I would recommend watching those videos. So that is it for today. If you are struggling with certain topics in the AMP section, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure I put them in my to-do list just to help you out. You know us beauty therapists, we've got to stick together. But yeah, other than that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go wax my mush mush. So I'll see you in my next video with a hair-free upper lip. Bye.